Engine start. Start of oil pressure. Check. Stand of power. Four years old. Directional signal. Check. RPM increasing. Check. Navigational devices on and locked. Beacon lights on. Sixty thousand ships are constantly sailing around the world. Everything in our daily life use, like the food we eat, the car we drive, and the fuel we use in, the clothes we are wearing, and the technology we are using, is coming to our doorsteps from the other part of the world through the shipping. Shipping is the blood flow of the world. Shipping is one of the oldest industries of the world and has taken the command of our society. It is the essential link in world lubricating supply chain and it has become the backbone of world economy. Shipping is pervasive, yet it slips under our radar. 90% of our daily use came on a container. It is the most cheapest way of transportation. But who is behind all of this? Ships are becoming bigger and bigger. The Triple E is newly born in shipping family with its length 400 meters and equivalent to four football fields and it can hold 10 A320s Airbus in a row or the Eiffel Tower or why not the Titanic itself. But the speciality is carrying 18,000 containers in a single voyage. If we line them all together there would be a long steel snake covering 120 kilometers. I'm the part of uh, the team of this uh, nice lady. And uh, this is around uh, 366 meters long. And uh, I always wake up 4 o'clock early in the morning. I have a watch with the chief officer. And uh, my routines keep on changing with the arrival and departure. Uh, like you said, there is no schedule for us, uh, honestly. Uh, like sometimes we are waking up 2 o'clock in the midnight, sometimes 3 o'clock. And uh, it keep on changing with the time, with the arrival, with the departure. And this place, which we call as a bridge, this place is never left unattended. The officer of the watch have to be at this place every time. And uh, because this ship is running 24-7, so every time one officer of the watch is staying in this place. And sometimes we also have uh, one uh, watch keeper with us and uh, he's doing uh, he's navigating and he's uh, uh, tracking the targets if uh, there is any target he's reporting to the officer of the watch and that's how the life is going on and this is really difficult like you are waking up for properly in the morning and the schedule keep on changing uh, but i really love this this job and i really like this job for the sake of my family for the sake of my own self and we are all people are doing this job here uh, we like this. Shipping has reshuffled cars and today distances no longer exist. And a simple product such as a jacket or a coat is a result of a planetary collision. In the old times, the things were very different. The raw material is coming in one end of the factory and the final good product is going to the other end of the factory.
but now the things have changed. If you see the made in tag on your jacket, you will not understand the exact story. Where the cotton, from where the cotton is coming, from where, from where it was uh, tied, from where these buttons are coming. This made in tag is only telling you the final factory where it has been assembled. But behind this, there is a big story. The coat you are wearing has covered a long journey. The cotton came from USA, then it was woven and dyed in India. The buttons were made in Vietnam from the plastic collected in Europe. Then it was processed in China. After covering a long journey of 48,000 kilometers, just the ticket of a subway. For them, it is very easy to say shipping is the cheapest way of transportation. But there are some people who have to pay for the consequences and we are the one who are paying the consequences. Once you pass the horizon, you are like in a floating prison. containers. 